Hi, this is a short little video showing how Pigeonhole can help you with multi-language data cards. Up here at the very top, I have just a little database cross-reference table listing materials and finishes and then the corresponding translations in German and French. I'll apologize, I don't speak neither German nor French, so I'm not sure they're accurate. They're done with just a simple web search, but I think you'll at least get the idea. So down here, here's how you set up Pigeonhole. Uh, at the top of these guys are the actual EPDM variables. This first little query here is, is a pr relatively simple. It's just going to simply sort this list by all the different materials. So if I choose aluminum, it will only show me the aluminum type. If I choose steel, it will only show me the steel type. For the German, it's a little more complex. It's pretty much the same sorting. And then I'm also saying, and also look by the value of the English version. So if the user chooses clear anodize, then he's going to get this value right here. And the same story with the French. He's going to see all the French ones. So let me show you what this would look like. So I already have pre-selected aluminum in my EPDM data card. And so when I hit my list, you'll see that I only have two different choices for the aluminum. So if I choose this one, because there was only one choice available, Pigeonhole went ahead and, and populated it for me. So I don't have to even spend any time clicking the other one. So if I choose a black one, you'll see that I get a completely different list. Click OK, and it populates my EPM data card. 